The theme of our day is the regal seats. Relax and be blessed. Next is welcomed by Bethany and Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Good morning, Bethany. How do you do? I am very well. Thank you. And you? I'm fine by God's grace. I hope you are excited about today. Oh, yeah. I am super excited about what the Lively Stone are going to do here today. Hmm. It's going to be great today. Hello, Hannah and Bethany. Did I hear you well? Oh, oh yes. yes. You heard yes. us loud and clear, Esther. We are just, just talking about, about how great today, today is going to be. be. Both of you are in the spirit. God will give us open heavens. The Shekinah glory will fill this temple today. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Next, in one, Jesus loves me. This I know. Please, shall we uprise? <laughs>
generation and the red grasses. Thank you. Shall be told of love, and we shall be the peace of <laughs> Mark chapter 10, verse 15, and it says, Verily I said unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. <laughs> Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, and it says, Verily I said unto you, Except to be converted, as the two children shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Thank Psalm 1 to 7, verse 3 to 4. Low children are an heritage of the Lord, and of the fruit of the whom he is reward. As arrow are in the hands of a mighty man. So are children of the youth. Matthew chapter 19, verse 14. And he said, But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of sure is the kingdom of heaven.
And the world was with God, and the world was God. First Peter 2 verse 9, and it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar person, that ye may show forth the glory, the praises of who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. John 1 verse 50. For God showed mercy to those who fear him from generation to generation. Proverbs 20, verse 11. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure or bright. First Thessalonians 5, 18. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you.
Hebrews 13, 5 to 6. My conduct shall be without greed. I am content with what I have. For he himself has said, he will never leave me nor forsake me. So I may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear. What can man do to me? Abaku 2, verse 2, and it says, Write the vision, make it plain upon tablet, that they may run that read it. Romans 8, verse 6, and it says, The mind of a sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Proverbs 2, verse 11, Discrimination will watch over you, understanding will guide you. Matthew 7, verse 7, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and sh the door shall be opened. John 11:35. Jesus went. John 3:3. 3, 3, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, verse 16, and he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever ever believeth in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Romans 12, verse 21, and it says, Don't overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Genesis 1, verse 23, And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Psalm 23, verse Psalm 23, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 34, verse 1, I'll bless the Lord at all times, which shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 119, verse 11, and it says, Thy word, have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Psalm 25, verse 1, and it says, To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Mark 10, verse 9. Therefore, what God, have, what God have joined together, let no man put us under. Matthew 5, verse 3. Blessed are the, are the poor in spirit, for there is in the kingdom of heaven. Psalm 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. out. Give the next person. Give the next person. Come down. I'm 150 verse 6 and it says, let all that, that has breath praise the Lord. John 8 verse 15. Time out. Time out. <laughs> John 14, verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Philippians 4, verse 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to him. Genesis 1, 27, God made man in his likeness. Psalm 3, verse 23, and it says, Psalm 3, verse 23, and it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Oh, Rome, Romans 3, verse 16. Ephesians, Ephesians 6, verse 11. And it says, put on the whole armor of God so that you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Mark 12, verse 13. And thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might, and with all thy strength. For this is the first commandment. Psalm 23, verse 2. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Exodus 20, verse 13, and it says, Thou shalt not kill. Exodus 20, verse 15, and it says, Thou shalt not steal. Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 1, Psalm 23, verse, Psalm 3, 
Psalm 23, verse 3. He restores my soul. Hebrews 11, verse 2, and it says, For by it the elder obtained a good report. Galatians 5, verse 23, and he said, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, self control Psalm 1, verse 1 is... And it's time out, time out. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 23, verse 4. He leads me in the path of righteousness. Psalm 23, verse 4. He leads me in the path of righteousness. But Exodus 20. Exodus 20, verse 14. Thou shalt not, ki- thou shalt not commit adultery. Act, Act 1, verse 8. And he said, And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Psalm 3, verse 5. And it says, I sleep and I wake up because the Lord sustains me. Philip um, Matthews Matthew eleven verse twenty eight and it says Come to me all who are burdened and weary, for I'll give you rest. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the end. Oh, yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I would um, allow them to introduce their names to you. My name is Daniela. Jessica. My name is Daniela. Okay, we're dear beta. I'm going to make a favor. I'm saying, okay. Blessing God's way. Say, book way. Shame me, Lorok. No. Daniela, Joe, okay. Please clap for them. So. When I say draw your sword, then the first person to bring um say it, please media when when they say just after they've said it, you put it on the screen. Thank you. So when I you know when, after I've said the scripture, the first person to open it should shout it out because I can't you know. So thank you. Praise God. So the first scripture, Nahum. Sorry. Draw your sword. Draw your sword. Nahum 2, verse 13. Open. And it says, Behold, people in the might, might of them are women, women. Did she get it? 213, 
Nahum 2.13. And he says, Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will burn his chariots in the smokes. And the Please clap for her. So she gets three points. Second verse, draw your sword. Haggai 2 verse 7. Open. And I will take all nations and the desires of all nations shall come and I will... That's six points for Chikamsu. Please clap for her, please. Third um, verse. Open, I'm um, sorry, draw your sword. Draw your sword, stretch your hands, stretch your hands. Titus 3 verse 9. Until I say open, until I say open. Titus 3 verse 9. Open. Foolish questions, neologies, and contentions and strivings about the law, but they are unprofitable. Daniela is on three points. Please clap for Daniela, please. Fourth verse, draw your sword. Hebrew 13, verse 5. Open. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be the contents with such things as ye have. For he had said, I will never... Please clap for Shemilore. He's on three points. The fifth memory verse. Colossians 13 verse 16. Open. says, for bearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave him, so also do ye. Colossians 3 verse 16. Okay, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this round. Cancel this round. I'll be repeating it twice so that they will hear it again. Sorry. So, 2 John 1 verse 3. 2 John 1 verse 3. Open. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God and the Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father in truth and love. Please clap for Daniel, please. Daniel is on three points. Proverbs 14, verse 1. Draw your sword, draw your sword. Proverbs 14, verse 1. Proverbs 14, verse 1. Open. But fully with our own hands tears it down. Please start for Esther is on three points. Please clap for Esther, please. Matthew twenty-five verse fourteen. Draw your sword. Matthew twenty-five verse fourteen. Open. A 
man going on a journey called the servant has entrusted to him his property. Okay, please clap for Esther. Um, Esther, yeah. Don't say you're there. Just start reading it. Do you understand? Just start reading it. Okay. Okay, so um, please, if you hear your names, you don't have a point. Blessing. Please clap for them. Please. Please clap for them. Blessing. Please step down. Favor. Please clap for Please, please, please. Jessica. And took away. Please stop for them. Please, please, please. So we have the last five. Just start reading. Job 10, verse 11. Job 10, verse 11. Open. Me with and flesh and has felt with both and soul. Please clap for Esther. Sorry, Daniela. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Clap for Daniela, please, please. I know you know this, but you must open your Bible to, to read it. Amos, draw your sword. Amos 3, verse 3. Amos 3, verse 3. Open. Except thy be agree. I sure you opened it. <laughs> Please clap for Daniela. Daniela is on nine points. So after this round, I'll remove two people. Thessalonians 3 verse 4. Draw your sword. Thank you. Thessalonians 3 verse 4. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 4. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 4. Open. Yeah, please let's hear. Please start for Daniela. So So please if you hear your name kindly step out. But please clap for them. Similare, please clap for him. And Daniel. So we have Esther, Daniela, and Chick Amso. Leading is Daniela with 12 points. Esther is on 6 points, and Chick Amso is on 6 points. But you can still, you can still catch up. Philippians 3 verse 10. Philippians 3 verse 10. Open. And the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of Please for them. Please for them. Please don't come out until you are there. Then you come out and read. Do you understand? Draw your sword. Draw 2 verse 28. Draw 2 verse 28. Open. Just read. Don't come out until you've gotten there. 
28. Sons and your daughter. Please clap for Daniela. Please clap for Daniela. Draw your sword. Psalm 73, verse 1. Psalm 73, verse 1. Open. Truly God is good to the upright, to those who are pure in heart. Please clap for her. Please clap for her. That's Esther. Draw your sword. Ezra 3 verse 3. Ezra 3 verse 3. Open. The altar upon his basis for fear was upon them. Please come for Tika Amso. Draw your sword. Acts 6, verse 8. Acts 6, verse 8. Open. Please clap for her. Please clap for her. Overtaking is allowed. So after this round, there can only be one winner. So after this round, two people will remain for the last round. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1. Draw your sword. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1. Open. You then, my son, be strong in that season. Overtaking is Allah. <laughs> Okay, so we have Esther and Daniela tied. Chikamso came third because there can be only one. Winner. Let's clap for Chikamso, please. Let's clap for her. So this at the final. This is the final stage, and this would help us to determine our one winner. So draw your sword. Shake yourself. Shake yourself. You tried. You tried. Shake your sister. Now. Yeah, good. Draw your sword. Micah 4, verse 1. Micah 4, verse 1. Open. But, but in the last day, it shall come to pass that the mountain. Please clap for her. Please clap for her. Okay. Draw your sword. Romans 8, verse 28. Romans 8, verse 28. Open. Twenty-eight. Everything God was clap for her, clap for her, please clap for her. Love. <laughs> cool. Galatians, draw your sword. Galatians six, verse seven. Galatians six, verse seven. Open. If God is not mocked for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Uh, no, no, it's not Joe. She, she, she said it first. Praise God. Praise God. Draw your sword. Hosea 14, verse 5. Hosea. <laughs> Hosea 14 verse 5. Hosea 14 verse 5. Open. I will you 
unto his yoke. He shall go please clap for her. Please clap for her. Please clap for Daniela. Thank you. Draw your sword. James 2, verse 11. James 2, verse 11. Open. Please clap for her, please, please. It's not easy. Clap for her. Draw your sword. Revelations 3, verse 20. Revelations 3, verse 20. Open. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts. Oh, no. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open, I will come into him and will swap with him. And he said, Thank you, thank you. Please come for her, please, please. Lamentation, draw your sword. Lamentations 2, verse 8. Two more, two more. Lamentations 2, verse 8. Open. Two verse eight. And it says, The Lord has proposed to destroy the world of the daughter of Zion. And the final verse of the day. Please clap for them, please, please. Final verse of the day. Second Chronicles thirty five verse one. I repeat, Second Chronicles thirty five verse one. Open. One. Josiah kept a Passover to the Lord in Jerusalem and they killed the Passover lamb on the 14th, 14th day of the first month. Please clap for her, please, please. Praise God. We have come to the end of this part of Draw Your Sword. And we have our winner as Daniela with 30 points. Please clap for her, please. Please, 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 clap for her. And we have Esther second with 24 points. Please, clap for them, please. Please, clap for them. Please, clap for them. Thank you. Good morning, our mommies, daddies, aunties, uncles, and my fellow children. Happy Children's Day to all of us. You are all welcome to this special segment, the talk show. The topic of our discussion is the regals is standing out and making a difference in their world. And my name is Esther Ibokwe. With me on this discussion are Jessica Ibokwe, Chikamse Ezeke, Jamie Lore Okunowo, Daniel Olochuke Ejeoke. The synonyms of the word regal are royal, majestic, kingly, queenly, prince, princess, and noble. A regal seed is noble. Every child of God is special. 
We are specially and wonderfully made by God. We are princes and princesses of God's kingdom. The blood of Jesus has set us free. Now we are no more bound, but redeemed. Please sit and relax with royal dignity as you listen to our speakers. I am promising you that there will be no ideal moment. Thank you. Every regal seed has already been beautified by God. God created us to look majestic, elegant, and graceful. I am a princess, a daughter of a king, loved and accepted, sanctified and redeemed. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I was not created in a hurry. God took his time to make me beautiful. We are his royal heirs, prepared to inherit God's kingdom. God anointed us to look, God anointed us and set us apart for his divine purpose. We belong to God and it's able to be his. What a great privilege to be born of God. Every child of God carries the seed of greatness by virtue of our inheritance in Christ. God wants his children to be the head and not the tail. God wants us to be best in our school academic programs. He wants us to be outstanding and extremely good in our performance. Every regal seed is created in God's image. We are the light and we are to shine so bright. We are expected to stand out and positively influence our world. A regal seed is fearless. If we must stand tall to make a difference in our world, we must be bold and fearless. Fear is the weapon of the enemy. Fear is the opposite of faith. Fear can be explained as, as the word itself as an acronym. Fear is false evidence appearing real. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Regal seeds can only be raised and nurtured in a godly home. Primary purpose of marriage is to produce godly children that will be for signs and wonders in the generation. The family is the first and most fundamental of all human institutions. God uses the family to transmit knowledge from one generation to the other. No wonder the family unit is under so much attack in our society today. Parents, you must know that there is no fixed formula in godly parenting. All that is required is a great amount of wisdom aligned with biblical principles. If you don't transmit the knowledge of God to your children, it will lead to transmission breakdown. May God not allow us to fail our generation. Thank you. Every regal seed has been created to be physically, socially, and spiritually sound in the eyes of men and God just like Jesus in his childhood. Every regal seed is expected to soar above the challenges of his generation. Dear parents, you have a role to play in helping children to find their purpose. One of them is to protect, to protect them with adequate security, to, sh to show them the way to God and work with them. Be approachable and reachable at all times. Thank you. Ooh, la 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 la. This is wonderful to know how special we are. We are not ordinary at all. We are royals. Thank you, our wonderful speakers. How do you feel knowing that you are a royalty, a son or a daughter of the king of the whole universe, loved and accepted by God? When you share your stories, you give God all the glories. Your testimonies can encourage and empower those, someone who is in pain, confused, lost, or even suicidal. Don't keep, don't keep your goodness to yourself alone. Reach out to others. Let them tap from the goodness. Let them tap some goodness from you as, as you shine and win more for Christ. We are God's precious children. Our identity is be has been transformed. God created us in his own image. In 
He made you perfect and set you apart for a special purpose. Made you perfect and set you apart for a special purpose. The change that is needed. The change that is needed to make the world a better place should start from us. Our behavior must be high moral standard and must be able to accept people for Christ. Academic excellence. Academic excellence glorifies God and it is not always being better than others. God wants his children to be the best in all standards. Don't forget you are a regacy destined to be great and outstanding. Thank you. Hmm, we are regal seeds. Dignified royals, very courageous. We are no longer slaves. We are God's children. God made us heirs of the kingdom when we surrendered our lives to him. Our identity is that of royalty because we are the children of the most high God. The blood of Jesus redeemed us when we, when we accepted Jesus into our hearts. He purchased us as a high position to make you his. You are no longer a slave to sin. But you are a slave to Christ's righteousness. You are loved and accepted, fearless in all things. God wa always wants us to remember our identity and be as bold as fear and fearless as a lion. Thank you. Regal seeds are mentally, physically, socially, and spiritually sound in the eyes of men and God. Just like Jesus in his childhood. Every regal seed is expected to soar above the challenges of this world and their generation. Parents, you have a role to play in helping your children to find purpose. One of them is making your children your friends. Now, some parents, they, usually, they have children, right? But they usually don't have time for them. And everybody knows that a friend is someone you have time for. Now, you have to be approachable and reachable. Even as a parent, if your parents know you as to be someone that is very strict at times, well, you have to maintain the strictness and also make it able that your child can be able to approach you and reach you at all times. So that when the child needs it most, the child won't be able, the child will be able to communicate with you. Help your children to um, have time for God and walk with them. No, lead them to Christ and also walk with them. Now, if you can walk with your children, it's nice. But also walking with them is also another good thing. Always bless your children and never curse them. May God keep you parents strong for us. Ooh la 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 la. This is wonderful to know how special we are. We are not ordinary at all. We are royals. Thank you, our wonderful speakers. How... How would you feel if you are How would you feel knowing that you are a royalty, a son or a daughter of the of the king of the whole universe, loved and accepted by God? When you share your stories, you give God all the glory. You can your testimony can encourage and, and empower those and empower those who are lost, confused, in pain or even society call. Don't, don't keep your goodness to yourself alone. Reach out to others. Allow them to tap some goodness from you as you, as you shine and win more for Christ. A seed, a seed is not destined to grow for itself. Always remember that you are a regal seed, and God expects you to grow, multiply, and make positive impartation. God bless our wonderful speakers. Let's bring out our offerings. So thank you, Lord, for giving us offerings and all the money to give you, O oh Lord. Amen. As we give you the offerings, may you give us back double in Jesus' name. Amen. We bring a sacrifice of praise into the house of the
the name of Jesus. Are we joyful in this house this morning? You know, there's something that Jesus said. He says, suffer not the little ones to come to me. For theirs is the kingdom of God. With all the things that are happening in the world, God expects us to be like children. Amen? In a way, as a parent, if you're going out in the morning, your son will tell you, Daddy, you, are you going to buy that aeroplane for me? As far as that child is concerned, you have that money. And that faith is there. When you come back in the evening, you say, Daddy, where is my aeroplane? Because that's the absolute faith that he has in you. And that's how God wants us to live. Amen? That childlike faith that God is able to do all things. Can we clap for our children this morning? I can see a spectrum of all kinds of, you know, giftings in the house and them. I can see some of them, you know, uh, called to ministry already. I can see some of them very great communicators. I can, you know, a variety of, of, of beautiful blessings in the house. I want to bless God for all of you. Thank God for who you are. You're going to change Nigeria and the world in Jesus' name. You will not bring sorrow. You will not die untimely. In the name of Jesus. Everything that is required for us to train you people, God will put it in our hands. The strength, the resources, the wisdom is ours in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, sometimes we don't enjoy these things. Please learn to enjoy the moment. Some of us are here. We are already, our spirit is out. Can you call your spirit back? You know, we're always postponing to enjoy tomorrow. And then we're neglecting today. When you're in a place, enjoy. If you're eating, enjoy the food at that moment. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. We're always in a hurry. Amen? This is a beautiful service. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. The flaws, the perfection, everything, enjoy it. Amen? Without further uh, ado, there's somebody God has prepared this morning. Just 20 minutes exhortation. Praise the name of Jesus. And if you just open your heart, I trust God to give you, you know, um, a wisdom, an impact somehow, you know, in the area of your need as a parent, as a child. And I want the children to be very, very, very attentive. Please, ushers, keep them calm. C can, we, can we just a uh, few minutes... This is a friend of the house. Uh, it's not uh, friendship. Is not how long, amen. This is when you see somebody that you you that you know have um, operate on the same um, spirit that you have. You know. So this morning we have a guest. We have somebody God has prepared. Um, Pastor Blessing. Bukola Williams is the co-lead pastor at the Change Embassy Ministry, Abuja. She is passionate about parenting, marriage, and relationship. Founder of Blessing B. Williams Inspire Foundation, an NGO that supports the less privileged. She's married to Dr. Bukola Williams, lead pastor at the Change Embassy Ministry, and blessed with two lovely children. With a harvesters hand clap and blessing let's welcome pastor blessing god bless you. it's a very short charge that she has god bless you. hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord mama is a rare privilege to be here and i don't want to take it for granted thank you for having me um i'm like um, the pilgrim, you know, when Jesus was going to Galilee from Judea, the Bible says that he needed to pass through Samaria because there was a work, there was a harvest to be done in Samaria. So I'm just like that pilgrim. I'm like Jesus passing through, you know, Lagos from Abuja. And God said, I need to give a word today. May you be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to sing this song. I don't know if the choir can help me. I have come in the volume of the book. It is written about me to do your will, O oh Lord. I have come in the volume of the book. It is written about me to do your will, oh Lord, to do
volume of the book it is written about me to your will. to the simple. Ask that the Lord will make your heart simple. This word is not just for the children, but even for our parents and singles. Let's pray that the Lord will give us understanding. He will illuminate our life. Amen. The Bible says that the word of the Lord that was sent delivered the people of their destruction. It delivered the people of their ignorance. I pray that by this word, there will be deliverance this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. So the children helped me to simplify my message. You know, when they came for this talk show, they said the spirit is one. Because many of the things I put down here were the things they were saying. And even the scriptures that I put here are the same scriptures that were quoted. So they have actually helped me to simplify this message. Praise the Lord. Let's take um, Luke 2, 41 to 52 as a case study. I also have 1 Peter 2, 9. You are a chosen generation. That's the scripture that they read. And they also quoted Psalm 127, 1 to 5. But let us bring up this case study. Luke 2, 41 to 52. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, this is speaking about Jesus, they went up to Jerusalem after the, the custom of the feast. Can we be fast, please? Let's move to the next. Is, are we are going to 52. 43. Can we move to the next, or let me just use, okay. And when they had fulfilled the days, they returned, and the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. 44. But they, supposing him to have been in the company went a day's journey, and they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. 46. up yet and we have 46 
Let me open my Bible. Now, so it was that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought for you anxiously. And he said to them, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them to, and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, and in the favor with God and men. Praise the Lord. I want us to look at this scenario. You know, Jesus' parents... As it was their custom, they went for the feast of the um, Passover. But this particular time, Jesus was 12 already. And the parents assumed, our first point is costly assumption. The parents assumed that he was with them in the journey back home. For three good days, they searched for this boy. Parents it's costly to assume that your children are growing in the Lord without intentionality. Praise the Lord. You can be a Christian, but if there is no intentionality in bringing them up, it is costly. You can imagine what would have happened to that child for three good days. I want you to picture it. As a parent, looking for your child for three days, you traveled from one city to the other, assuming he was in the company of your relatives. What happened? What may have happened? Now, this was a child that was anointed from the womb. And I can imagine that with all of the prophecies that came, they would have just assumed that this guy is okay. But it was in their responsibility to make sure that this child is being nurtured, protected by them. Many of us think that church would do the upbringing and training for our children. There are many assumptions in this generation. God is calling us to intentional training. A training with structure. If you don't train your children, the world will train your children for you. If you don't train your children... The TV, social media will train your children for you. God is calling us to what? Structural training, intentionality. God is a God of structure. Even from the beginning, the Lord made the heavens and the earth. Within seven days, he gave a timeline. He knew what he was going to do each day. That is the kind of God we have. So if the Lord is telling us to bring up our children in the way of the Lord, then we must be able to put structure to the training. And we must take a cue from these people from the other side. They are very intentional. They indoctrinate their children without any form of criticism. It's like brainwashing. Ours is not brainwashing. Because we teach them in love and we teach them in discipline. With examples and we allow them to ask questions when it is necessary. But these children from an early age... They already know the tenets. They already know the principles. They already know everything that has to do with their religion. You know the people I'm talking about. But we Christians are like a desica with training of our children. So we need to, God is telling us, we're looking at this case study and we're seeing that there was an assumption. And you will see it that for a child to stay back in the temple, I'm not even telling his child, his, his parents, that he, wasn't even, he didn't even look for his parents. He didn't even tell his parents that he was going to stay back. Then there was a problem somewhere. Hallelujah. So this first point is that we need to start putting structure. And such structures should be this. I'm so, you know, I'm so impressed and I'm happy to see that our children can quote scriptures. 
they know scriptures. It, it, it says volumes. It says that the church is doing a lot. But I'm talking about the home. Let's have timelines to things in the home. There are TV time, screen time. Praise the Lord. Screen time. You know, I was on a plane. I was traveling some time. And there was this um, parent that had a baby. It was a three-seat aisle, this side on this side, three seats. And then there was this woman, a child of maybe about one or two. The plane was supposed to, was going to take off. And then they said, switch off your, your phones. And the woman said, I can't switch off my phone. Uh, one elderly woman by the side said, how will you say? He said, if I switch off my phone, this girl will scatter this plane. That she would make noise and scatter this plane. And I said, how is that even possible? He said, she cannot do without this phone. And so the elderly woman began to cancel her. I said, you cost this thing. Why will you allow your child to be addicted to the screen at this age? What is she learning? And somehow it begins to affect their mental capabilities. I tell you, sometimes you see children who in their sleep, in their dream, you see them as if they are pressing a phone. We need to be very careful. Buy a book for your child. Tell the child, I need you to start reading from the book of Romans. When you read the first chapter, write down your understanding. Write down your questions. That is intentionality. You can ask the child, I need you to do a presentation. Come and do a presentation to mommy and daddy and tell us what you have learned. Teach us We are your congregation. So we need to be intentional. With prayer time, a child should wake up in the morning and the first thing is not the phone. The first thing is to kneel down and pray. And thank God for the gift of life. Praise the Lord. For brevity of time, we might not be able to take all of this. I pray that there will be another opportunity to have such conversations. Praise the Lord. The second point, a royal child must learn. The topic is regal children, right? A royal child must learn to honor his parents and authorities. The Bible says that when the parents came and found Jesus, what happened? He realized his mistake. And he said he went back with them and became what? Subject to his parents. And after being subject to his parents, the next thing was what? He grew in wisdom, in stature, and with favor with God and man. That is the prerequisite for you to grow as a child. As a child, you must honor your parents. You must honor authorities. Because you have not been on that road before. They know better than you. Your parents are more experienced. No matter the amount of knowledge that you get, that you have in school, no matter the amount of exposure that you have, your parents are more experienced. So for Jesus, he learned obedience from where? his parents. He learned obedience through the things he suffered. And he started learning from the age of 12. Because how will a child stay back for three days? How did he eat? How did he sleep? How did he bathe? How will I travel with my parents and not be able to tell my parents that I'm, I, I need to stay back here? I'm really enjoying this sermon that they are preaching then there must have been obedience lacking somewhere or honor. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So as a child, you must honor your parents. You must honor authorities. So we could see that even Jesus at a time, he was paying taxes. He was paying, he said, give to Caesar what is Caesar and to God what is God. That is obedience to authority. You cannot be a regal child and not be... You know, to honor authorities and honor elders. And when we talk about honor, it's not just your parents. Even your elders. You honor people. You respect people. People come to the... My, my mommy. People will come to um, visit somebody. Children will be in the parlor. Like a visitor comes in. Everybody's on his phone. Nobody's saying good morning. Like a visitor comes into the house. And your children are on their screen. They cannot even greet good morning. It's that bad. They can't even have conversations with one another. You know, during our time, we'll go out to play. But now, children don't go out to play. They don't have games they play again. Anything is where? 
on the phone. No social skills. Praise the Lord. So we must teach them accountability. And that is why you see people who are getting married today, they don't even mind going ahead with the marriage without, their, without parental consent because from the onset, there was no honor instilled in them. You can imagine, go to social media, you'll see it. It says somebody got married that parents did not attend and you went ahead with the wedding? That's an abomination. So teach them honor from now. Teach them accountability. Praise the Lord. What does it mean to honor your parents? You must accept the authority. At a level, you give them independence. But as long as they are under your tutelage, they are in your house, they must honor you. Children, you must appreciate your parents. They are doing a lot, a lot for you. They are going out and coming in is to bring bread to the table. They are doing a lot for you. You must appreciate them and say, Mommy, thank you. Daddy, thank you for taking care of me. And also tell them, I love you. Parents, tell your children you love them. Don't allow another person out there to show them the love they are supposed to experience in the home. Let the appreciation be mutual. Don't provoke your children to anger. Praise the Lord. The third point is regal children must know their authority, their dominion, and their power. We will not wait until they are adults before they know these things. From now, let us let's start telling them that as they, gave, as they gave their life to Christ, there was a power that came. The Bible says that power made them sons of God. They said it here, but you need to tell them that the devil is a toothless barking dog and cannot do anything to them. That they have the power within themselves over the enemy. The Bible says that we are seated in Christ, with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. And any name that you can name, any form of sickness. So your child should know that the first point of call, when he feels that there's something wrong with him in the, in the tummy, is to pray. Do we understand? The first thing, response to anything is prayer. Why? Because there is a power within The Bible says that we should, that was Paul speaking to Timothy, that don't look down on yourself because you are young. Be an example. In charity, in character. Hallelujah. Psalms 8 verse 2. Can we project that scripture? Mama, my time is up. The Bible says here, through the praise of children and infants, you have established a strong hold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. The Bible says that children, in the quiver of their parents, their what? Their arrows. And what would they do? They will contend with the and they will silence the enemies at the gate. Children. Out of the mouth of infants and sucklings, he has ordained power, strength. We will not wait for them to become adults before they begin to exercise this authority. You know, there was a time that my son, I always laugh about it. My son, he was playing with some children and then he said they were trying to bully him. And the, what came out of his mouth was, you have not been given any power over. Imagine you are you are, you are fighting with your, with your mates. And what he was quoting the scripture. He was telling him that you have not been given any power over me. That if you have any power over me, except God gives you. And I said, <laughs> that, is not, that is what we tell the devil, not our flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I said, you need to stand for yourself. That is not, not the point where you'll be quoting scripture. It's when you are fighting with them in the realm of the spirit, you use the scripture. Hallelujah. So they should start young. The fourth point. I don't want to, because of the time, let me just go to the first point. 
Regal children have a culture of holiness and a nature of righteousness. They must know you have a nature of righteousness. The righteousness that you have is the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That is your nature. Then God now, when you give your life to Christ, you have a nature of righteousness. And that righteousness is not by your works. It's by your faith. You receive Jesus Christ and you became righteous. But it doesn't end there. The Bible says that you must work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So that is how you will now develop the culture of holiness. So you need to by yourself pick up your Bible and read and begin to ask God, I need understanding on this topic. I need understanding of this and that. God will speak to you. Do you know why I know? God started speaking to Samuel at a very young age. When he was with Eli, the Bible says that God was speaking to him, calling his name. So God can speak to you. It's possible. And he will begin to open your ears and your eyes to see those things and to hear those things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you work out your, your salvation. You pray. Pray for yourself. Pray the way you can pray. There is no one way to pray. Just tell God what is in your mind. Start praying now. So as you grow, you mature in prayers. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Number five, and the last point. Regal children, they have the light that the dark world needs. Light. You have the light to illuminate this world, this world where there is moral decadence, where things have gone bad, where there is corruption. The light is in you. Why? Because the Bible says you are the salt of the world. You are the city that is set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. And the Bible also says that you are a light that is upon a candle stand. You are not put under a bushel. Don't hide yourself. Never you hide yourself. Don't hide the, the intellect that you have. Don't hide your talents. Don't hide your knowledge of God. Don't ever feel ashamed. People need you. There is so much darkness, gross darkness. The Bible says that the Gentiles who come to our light, kings who come to the brightness of our rising. So they need you. They are in trouble. They need you. Don't ever hide the fact that you are a born again Christian. Don't ever hide the fact that you carry Jesus. Be proud and be bold. You have the spirit of boldness, of power, and of a sound mind. Wherever you find yourself, make sure that you bring forth the praises of God. In your school, make sure that you are top, the head and not the tail. Amen. And parents, let's encourage them. Let's support them. If you have seen that your child has a skill or he's gifted in something, push that child up. Please. Because God needs them in the secular. God needs them there. God needs them as footballers. Yes. God needs them in the entertainment industry to sanitize the place. God needs them in politics. Don't shut down your child and say you talk too much. There is a reason for being talkative. There is a reason. It's a gift. And because God will need it tomorrow. So not all children will hold the mic. Not all children will become pastors. Because God needs them in the marketplace. Amen. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is written upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you. His glory will be seen upon you, and the Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. So they will come to their talents. They will come to their intellect. They will come to their skills. They will come to their value. That is what God wants. So let us encourage these children. In Jesus' name. Okay, children, please, can you rise on your feet while I pray for you? I'd just like to pray for you.
that these are mommies, can we stretch our hands towards them and pray for them? The family is a fundamental factor and an instrument that God uses to preserve a posterity for himself. What that means is that God will use these children to keep the word of God in the future. The Bible says that God knew that Abraham would teach his children the way of the Lord. So I want you to pray that there will be no gap, spiritual gap, in the lives of these children. They will be your successors. Of the things you know, they will even do better than what you know. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will use these ones. They will become vessels of gold, vessels unto honor, unto good works. Father, they will become vessels unto good work. Lord, you will form these children. You will teach them. They will be taught of the Lord. You will keep them. You will preserve them. The Bible says that your sons shall be like young plants that are matured in their youth. They will be matured in their youth like Timothy. They will be matured in their youth like Samuel, like Daniel, like Esther. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that your daughters, they shall be like cornerstones that are polished after the similitude of the palace. You will be like cornerstones, fundamental pillars in your time. In the name of Jesus. You will not be relegated to the background as female in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will give you wisdom, understanding. He will give you knowledge. You will grow in the fear of the Lord. You will not derail. You will not be snatched by the enemy in the name of Jesus. You will fulfill your days. You will fulfill your days. You will live out the number of your days. You will not die young in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. If we want to clap for Jesus, let's clap for him. Amen. Please go down. Go down first. Amen. Because of time, the children, you're going to do everything you're supposed to do, right? But let's just tweak the, um, the program a bit. Uh, we have a child dedication. All the children, we come out for prayers right now. Please, all the pastors, can you come forward? Please, can you come forward? All the children, can you come forward? Can the pastors come forward? The baby that we have for dedication this morning, can you bring the child forward? Most times when we do these things, as if we are wasting time. We are not, if you've not lost a child, you wouldn't understand. If you've not gone to hospital and they tell you that your child has cancer, you won't understand. When we do this, it looks so foolish. But there are spiritual exercises. Whatever that is dedicated to the Lord. Please, can the pastors come by, please? Can we have another microphone? Sasha, please, can you give one of your uh, people that oil? You come over, please, come closer. Pastors, please come closer. Can you come up, please? I want you to pray for these children. Let's just stretch our hands towards them. 
Lord, we just want to thank you for these precious gifts that are from you. Lord, we ask that for every child here, male, female, let your good hand rest upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A father, we break the siege of the enemy over their generation. They will stand out in the midst of this dark world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anasatol em pradushala. Li katetania balahosa. Ariane mosheteya. They will be confirmed in their identity in Christ Jesus. And they will take up their responsibilities in this world. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree over you. You are the seed of the righteous. Therefore, you shall be mighty in the land. You are the seed of the righteous. You will be mighty in the land. You will be mighty in every area of your calling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord shall cause you to know your purpose right at an early age. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of your God will be strong on you. Thank you our father. These ones are spiritually sound, spiritually strong. They will stand against the enemy at the gates. Our Father, we bless you. They are not subject to, oh God, all of the evils of this age. Thank you, my Father. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, let's just speak in tongues over them. La broskata legerebo shanta. Kaba Edeba, please lift up your voice as we pray. Man Sakateli Makado Bashanda in Kebenia Kasunga Barete Keseketeba. Father Lord, we ask that you silence the voice of the enemy over their lives. You silence the voice over of the enemy over their lives. You silence the voice in their minds, oh God, that they shall only hear the voice of the Spirit of God. In this age where there are lots of voices and all of them have significance, they shall hear the voice of the Lord. We speak Ama over them wherever they are. In school, wherever they will be, in the car, in school, in the school bus. Father Lord, that animate and inanimate objects will speak on their behalf. Where are their parents are not, Father Lord, your angels shall be there. None of these ones shall be defiled in the mighty name of Jesus. Not emotionally, not physically, not spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, we surround them with the blood of Jesus. We cover their eyes, we cover their ears, all their gates, all their portals. Father Lord, are sanctified in the mighty name of Jesus. None of these ones shall fall into the hands of pedophiles in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus and we say that wherever they go, their feet will go well. Father Lord, we speak concerning these ones. We speak scholarships over them that when we hear of them, it shall be good news. Father Lord, strange children shall not find them. Strange children shall not find them. Father Lord, they will find children who are part of the kingdom as friends. Father Lord, we decree and speak over their lives that even teachers who have negative influence, that when they are in their classes, Father Lord, you will cover them. You will hedge them all around in the mighty name of Jesus. These ones are truly lively stones. Police after the similitude of the palace. And Father Lord, they are princes and princesses unto your kingdom. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Father, we present these lovely children, these lovely seed. 
like the, the children's teeth will not be set on edge because of the sour grapes the fathers have eaten. Father, today we separate them from every, every curse, separate them from every influence, every pressure, whatever it is that has gathered against them. Behold, I shall, shall look at them, but not by me. Whosoever has gathered against them, any enchantment, look against them, we decree it shall come to no fruition in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We say pray them. We say pray them. Lay card those sick at the day. So bring them from every antics of the wicked one. Lay card the Alabraha. Man that sebra and that card the Alabraha and Katus Kedere. They shall find their identity in you. Lobra and Kadara. Let transgender thing, Lord God, will not come nigh them, Lord God. You shall separate them from every misconception, from every misidentity. They shall find their identity in Christ, Lord God. The spirit of last day will not catch up with them. We speak into the life. They shall live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord God. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We decree, Lord God. They shall live and not die, Lord God. They shall, be, they shall live and not die. We say them, Lord God, from every deficiency, every childhood deficiency, we say pray them. We the great ones are free in the name of just what to pray. Any diagnosed sickness, any diagnosed ailment, Lord God, we decree by the blood of Jesus, they are free right now in the name of just what to pray. As Isaiah said, I and the children you have given us, they are for signs and wonders. They, what we, when their names are mentioned, it shall be for signs and wonders. If their names are mentioned, it shall be for signs and wonders. Nothing less. In the name of just what we pray, we speak your peace, Lord God. Your peace, Lord God. Your peace, we person understanding. It shall get, for those who are troubled, Lord God, let peace come unto them. For those who are troubled, Lord God, who are confused, Lord God, let peace come, Lord God. Let peace, peace of Jesus, carry in their hearts. In the name of just what I pray. Hallelujah. Others can go back to their seats. Sister Tina, can you bring your baby? The things that we do, they are very, very important in the realm of the spirit. Yesterday, we were at the prisons. We are the, uh, is it not maximum? Which one? It's medium. The medium prison yesterday. And as we uh, were about leaving, they brought a child, a girl. And they said, I shall cancel the girl. And what was wrong with the girl? A 16-year-old girl at the age of 15 already has a baby. As that is not bad enough, she's, on, she's already addicted to... I asked her what it was. She is, is it Maureen or is it morning? I don't know what she called it. As I was praying for her, she was twitching. So already, because she's been in there for about two days, she already was having withdrawal syndrome. You don't understand what God does for you when your child is in the Lord. I know the funny part of it. I asked her where she's from. I had to call Brooke to come and hear. I said, where are you from? He said, Delta. I said, where in Delta? She said, he said, Luku. Parents, we've heard what our sister said today. Intentional parenting. Because out there, I asked her, she said it was her friends. She lives on the mainland, but her friends live on the island. And they are, that's where they take her and then she go and prostitute. 15 year old, God's giving birth. At 16, she's already a mother, but on the street. Warrior woman. See this, this sister here, eh? When you talk of a Christian with a violent fate, Christina, you have shown that the scriptures can never lie. You are able to have violent feet. This morning, before the host of heaven, and by the authority in the name that is above every other name, I'm not any under, operating under any disobedience. I have the full authority of the senior pastor and the authority in the name that's above every other name, the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We separate you from every generational curse. Amen. We separate you from every faulty foundation. Amen. We decree and we declare 
that you shall be the head and not the tail. Amen. You are for signs and wonders. Amen. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. You've been carried here alive. Amen. You are separated from every disease. Amen. Every infirmity. Amen. You will grow holy. Amen. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Amen. Everything that is needed to bring you up. We call it forth. You will not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus. Your arrival has broken the back of anything that your family has been against. You are a child of light. We decree and declare. You will shine. You will give taste to the world. Because you are the salt of the earth. You will not bring sorrow. You will answer the enemy at the gates. You will be like that lone tree that became... A forest Amen. that other brothers of the air came to take their next on it. Amen. And I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Amen. I heard, I sanctify your food and your drink. Amen. The hands that will carry you, even when your parents, your mother, your father is not there. The fear of you is upon your enemies. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, I call you, what's, that, what's his name? Allison, Allison means what? Exalted. You are exalted Amen. above sin, Amen. above sorrow, Amen. above poverty. Amen. You will forever sit in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you will do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to your power that work in us with this child. Father, thank you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Virtue has left you, I decree that virtue return. Amen. Father, heal your daughter physically, emotionally. A lot goes out when the woman gives birth. You will not lack any good thing. Amen. While you're still praying, the Lord will answer you. Amen. Father, thank you. I pray for you. Have the grace to be a provider, to be a leader. Father, thank you because I know that I've done it, that your name will not be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. All right. Um, I want us to go to the next item. Not dance yet. Praise the name of Jesus. Please, can we do the presentation of gifts? Can we have a braoke for her? And Deaconess Chomikba, please can you come? This student is a department, they need a lot of things. When they call you, please answer them. Why children are loitering all over the place? You have kidnappers, cultists, um, uh, um, uh, hook up, hook down. Um, uh, just what is your big, 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 big? It's things like this. If children come in and they have everything that they need, they will look forward to coming to church. Do you know that? Eh? If children come in and in their office, in their classroom there, they are LCD. The place is AC. Eh? They come in, they have snacks every Sunday, every Tuesday. The children will love to come. And when they come, they are fed the word of God. And it look at it, nothing is happening. But something is, as they grow out there, when you're not there, they'll begin to manifest it. Without much ado, please. Okay. All right. Praise God. Um, so, for the winners for memory verses, in in third place, or do we call it? Uh, no, I know. I'm talking of how we we'll call them out. Whether it's from first position or from third. Third, coming in third place, let's put our hands together for Nako Lisa Ibokwe. Come. God bless you. The smile for the camera. Oh my God, that's a wide smile. Jesus. God. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, coming in second place, let's have. Miracle. 
Okorafo. Oh, that's a gentle smile. Uh huh. Okay. Cut. Yes, put our hands together for her. And coming in first place, we have Shemilanu Okuno. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, um, the next set of prizes goes to the Draw Your Sword competition winners, right? Okay, so coming in third place, let's invite Chikam So Ejike. Smile for the camera. All right, congratulations. Coming in second place, let's have Esther Ibokwe. Perfect. And the, the young lady that uh, wanted to tear her Bible when she was looking for <laughs> Daniela Ibokwe, congratulations for coming first. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Thank you very much. W would that be all? Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. Praise the name of Jesus. Can we jam our hands for him? Then. And please, uh, if you're led, like miracle, if you're led, all of them did so awesomely, right? If you're led to still bless the children, please go ahead and bless the children. Encourage them in Jesus' name. And somebody here, you're going to have your baby in the name of Jesus. And somebody here, whether your child has been like a prodigal daughter or son, he or she is coming back home by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus. Now, we want to um, quickly, quickly, please do him too. Give me oil in my lamp. Give me oil in my lamp. Can we quickly, please? Please, let's be fast about it. We are young boys and girls. Him too, give me oil in my lamp.
of the Light New Stones Church, we want to say thank you to, to God for making this day a great success. To you, to you, our lovely mommies, daddies, uncles, and aunties, may God continue to bless you abundantly. In Jesus' name. To our okay. to our ever energetic and never timely teachers, we love you. Let's do this again in 2025. God bless you. <laughs> 